Hey Divas, welcome and welcome back. It's Sigara Keisha here with another video. And today we're doing a cloth and paper unboxing. This is the monthly subscription box that I did get for the month of June. So if you like budgeting, planning, sinking funds, organization, cash stuffing, every and all things that have to do with your money, I would love for you to subscribe, but more importantly, don't move. All right, Diva, like I said, this is the new cloth and paper subscription box. So it should be a good one. So let's get into it. Okay. All right, let's get everything out. Girl, cloth and paper and these vegan leather pouches have me in a chokehold. If you see my vlog where I went to New Orleans for 48 hours with my husband, you see that I use these bags. Like I use these bags for my bag to organize the things in my, my purse. So absolutely love it. So I'm already happy with the bag itself. Now let's go ahead and take everything out and see what we actually got. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I haven't seen anyone's unboxing. You know, I like to try to get my own genuine opinion about stuff. So let's see. Ooh. Um. Okay. So look, we got these new tab dividers. This is the A5 size. Okay, so this is cute. So there's six of them. And I know they have a plastic, they have to have a plastic, um, yeah, they do. You can see right here, they have a plastic covering on here to prevent it from like scratching. So when I put it in the planner, I can use that. But this is giving me very much like fall winter vibes. But I like, I like the smoky gray. Okay, I was not expecting this. I don't remember if I saw this in the sneak peek. I just know I saw the 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 vegan leather bag. I don't remember seeing this, so I'm excited for that. Um, we have two new dashboards. Okay, uh, this one says elegance is not standing out, but being remembered. That's pretty. And this one says, an, an attitude or outlook that is optimistic, positive, and hopeful. In pursuit of success, being a, how do you pronounce this? A sanguine? Yes, yeah, sanguine. I believe that's how they said it. In pursuit of happiness, being a sanguine uh, means more than just aiming high. It's about anticipating and fully embracing the rewards that come with achieving our goals. It is a quiet confidence that guides us, a whispering of celebrations yet to come, where success is not just achieved, but embraced with open arms and joy's hearts. All right, this is cute as well. Let's see what else we have. This one has the... Uh, Let's open it up and see. This is just the member access card. Nothing much there. This is the monthly table table tent um, calendar. This is for August. This is some labels and you can use these on the monthly dividers is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, because these are transparent stickers, yep. So you can use these on the monthly tabs, which are cute. That's nice. Okay. Um, this one talks about what's this, oh, excuse me. It goes over what's inside. This is a, uh, what is this? Cloth and paper innovation is in our DNA. So this just goes to show the progression of things they've added to their collection over the years. That's cute. 
this is the what's inside the box what's inside but i never read it. i try to figure everything out myself and then next we have this and i try to be careful on these because i never know if i want to sell them and i always want to give people good things Okay, let's see. Yep, cute little transparent page flags. And I think it, it goes well with the new dividers there. So I might keep this little thing here. And then this monthly refreshing card that I never use. I'm doing a planner refresh for the second half of the year, or at least the next quarter. So I might actually use some of these things that I have just in my stash. <clears throat> monthly card what impact do you want to leave on the world okay next we have the pens because now this is a pen and stationary box remember they made this change I think back for the February box is when they made the change now and I'm always on a hunt for a new pen I'm just going to use the packaging that came in so let's see if I like this. Okay, it's a point three tip. Okay, this one I could use. I like thin tips. This one's a good one. I like this one. Pure liquid. Okay, so this is a pilot pen. Let's see. Okay, I don't know if you can tell much of the difference. This is much more, like it says, more liquid than this other one. So these are two good pens that can go in my collection. That's fine. And I think this is the big drawer for this month's box. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so this is called the Traveler's Notebook. Let's see. Okay, this is really cute. I love the leather feel of this. <clears throat> and let's see what comes inside of this. Um, this is a dot grid notebook. This is um, the executive line like meeting if you want to just write notes notebook. What is this? Okay, a task planner. So a to-do list. You know your girl loves to have a running to-do list. And then monthly admin, what is this? Okay, this is a undated monthly calendar. So it has the calendar, important dates, notes and tasks. All right, and they have several pages in here. So if you're traveling, literally, you don't have to have these months labeled consecutively. So if I'm traveling in July, I can just fill out the July month and do the monthly and write notes for july then if i don't pick this up again till september i can do september so that's good this this is cute i would keep this and i believe i would use this because sometimes i just bring a planner with me if i'm in a car ride or something because i like to have um something to write in um so that's good now if i could just get my cash envelopes in here somehow that might be that might be a, a situation. But this is good. This wallet feels very sturdy. It has a, um, it's a magnet and it has the hole in the circle. So it has something like to clasp in. Easy. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that. And I like this. This this is a good box. This is a good box. So let's see what I have and I'm going to give everything a grade. So we'll just start with this. Um, again, this would be good, especially for people who like to take notes. And if you're on a road trip or taking a flight, this would be good to have just to jot things down. So this is good. I'm gonna give this a strong like A, okay? Um, my fave always are the vegan leather bags. So we're gonna put that here. This is also an A. I love the dashboards. They're super, super cute. I'm very like, you know, very fall-like. So I will be using this in my fall planner. Not right now. I'm about to do a refresh for the summer, but this is like too dark for the summer. 
so I will use this for the fall. So I like this. This is also an A. Um, I like the transparent stickers because it gives you so many options that you can use these for. So daily, monthly, agenda. You can do weekly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you really can't do weekly because it's seven days of the week. Calendar schedule. So I like this. So I can, I'm going to use these for this as well. That's good. So this whole situation is an A for me. The dashboards, the dashboards are always good to have. Again, if you're just going to do a plan and refresh. Since this one is white, I might use this in this refresh I'm doing here in a couple days. So we'll see. Page flags are just normal. Nothing special about this. So I'll give it like a C or something. Like it passed the class, girl. But I'm not going to tell my mother about the test. Like we passed, all right? We passed the class. Um, the pens, I like these pens. Um, I particularly like this one, the point three. Is this one a point three? It writes like that as well. But the pens are good. So the pens are like a B. This I never use, so that's like a D for me. And the table tents are like a C. Like they're they're always good to have. I throw them in my planner because I have them, but I wouldn't like go out and personally purchase them. So as, as far as this box goes, this was a, a decent box. This was a good box for June. Um, I'm probably going to pause my subscription again because I don't need much stationary items. I actually need to do a purge. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see me like purge my stationary, see what I like. I mean, what I ha have, what I need to get rid of, what I need to sell. So let me know if you'd be interested in that because I have a lot of stationary that <clears throat> I'm just literally overwhelmed with. Um, so I'm probably going to pause the subscription. And when I see like they do the sneak peeks and stuff, or as we get closer towards the new year, I might go ahead and, you know, redo it. So you can, you can pause your subscription for those of you that have them already. Um, that way you probably don't lose your pricing or whatever the case is, but or if you're uncertain, so I'm just going to pause this for now. But again, I'll give this box um, channeling my Keith Lee. I'm probably going to give it like an 8 out of 10. It, it was a good box. There's, there was many, much more things in here that I would use that I would, there are much more things in here that I would use than things that I wouldn't use, if that makes sense. So again, if you stayed, today was a short one. So if you stayed until the end and you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. And like I said below, and like I said before, if you would like to see me organize my stationery and really get focused on what I need um, for 2025, uh, get rid of some things, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. So like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.